Oh yes, blood is pumping. Sunday night. It's a holiday tomorrow. We're getting into it. Last time I streamed, I blew my cornea out, giving you that content. But tonight, we're getting back to reaction. We're gonna hit it like we used to. Let's get it going one more time. All right. Back again, baby. From the four corners of the globe to your motherfucking living room. Hey now. Hey now. Spicy on a Sunday. Sierra's messaging me from his van. He's out in nature making some sausage. Feels like a 7K shirt rip kind of night. That's that's an ambitious that's an ambitious goal. But if we hit 7K, we'll be blasting shirts. That is for goddamn sure. How is everybody doing, baby? Every time I get rid of a beard for one or two days, I leave the doc holiday. I like to feel I like to feel greasy for just one day, baby. Alright. You know what I mean, fellas? I'm your huckleberry. Got food coming. Mm, hell yeah. Whoa, what did you do with your hair and beard? My hair is the exact same. It's just wet. My beard, I just cut it off. Oh yeah, wow, that's for cool. It was time. Run through a fucking brick wall, baby. I'm ready to run through a brick wall, baby. Let's go. Why remove the VODs? Uh, I give everybody 24 hours to watch the VODs. Um, just because I don't... Listen, I... I I've been very clear about this, and I'll answer this question at length. I think that w the reaction I'm doing is still within the realm of transformative content and fair use, okay? But if I leave a VOD up of me reacting, then in essence, I have reproduced creative IP, right? And if I leave the VOD up, then that is me reproducing and distributing basically a illegal copy of whatever I'm watching. So I am just going to delete the VODs. Um, I am going to delete the VODs and uh, I am going to probably keep doing that. I'm going to leave them up for 24 to 48 hours. Uh, oh, yeah, wow. That does. Cool. Thank you, Panquake25. In my opinion, uh, that gives you the best possible uh, chance to watch it if you don't watch it by then. Uh, Copium, transformative. Listen, man. Uh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? No, uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, I, I, I do think it's transformative content. And here, this is what I will say. Um, I don't think it will hold up in a court of law. I think, honestly, uh, in, in any court of law situation, even for people who really do create like uh, explicitly transformative content, right? Like who just use small snippets of a program and really do something that you you can't even recognize the original to. Um, I think, oh, I'm just playing with you, man. Uh, I think uh, by and large, you're always gonna lose the case if it goes to court, right? Because any time we're watching content 
we're watching it content that's usually distributed by massive production companies. And the thing about massive production companies is they have massive legal teams. So I don't care if you are the biggest streamer in the world, they have bigger and badder lawyers than you do. Oh, and lawyers who have felled, you know, much, much stronger and, and uh, uh, richer creators than you. And so the trick is don't allow it to go to court, right? Never give them a situation in which uh, they oh, feel like they have to take you to court. Because here's the thing. They're, they're not going to go after you if they, if A, they don't think they can squeeze a bunch of cash out of you. And B, they don't think the offense is uh, like ridiculous. So the, 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 the secret to flirting with the DMCA line is stay under the radar and, and don't be the, the fastest gun or the worst offender. That's my opinion. If you plan to make content in the future, that's what I would say. This is not legal advice. Please do not quote me on this if you go to court. I'm just, we're just living in a time that is defined by gray area, right? So there you go. Unless a a Amazon actually backs streamers with their lawyers, shrugs, not worth it. Not worth it. Oh, yeah, wow. That's for not worth it to them. Too expensive. Um, also, you got to remember, Amazon has more arms than just Twitch, right? Amazon is an octopus in the industry. They have, they have money everywhere. Why the fuck would they potentially screw up their Amazon Prime relationships, right, for the content that they're distributing on their Prime video platform by going to court for a streamer who's stealing content? It'll just never happen. It will never happen, right? If they go to court against like Warner Brothers, then the next time they're like, hey, can we distribute some of that Warner Brothers content? Warner Brothers is going to be like, go fuck yourself, dude. So it's just, it's not going to happen. Um, Twitch is the redheaded stepchild of all the uh, Amazon ventures, for real and for true. Um, anyway... Um, what do you mean by the fastest gun in this context? The biggest streamer, the, the most viewed streamer, right? Uh, there, there's a reason why Pokey and, and Toast got gunned up and clapped quick when we're all kind of doing very similar stuff. They, they have more of a, they have more of an online profile, more eyes, right? That's, that's, that is what it is. That's the fastest gun syndrome. Heavy is the head that wears the crown, right? It's the same. Hey, thank you. Ready up. Thank you so much. Can we watch the Indian film Robot and 2.0 for film school? 2.0 on, on Prime Watch Parties? Yes, we can. In fact, we already did it. Oh, yeah, wow. Months and months and months ago. Three. Um... Uh, those are great movies, but we did watch them in our film school already. Joint is lit. Immunity is up for grabs. Will be my lawyer. Immunity is up for grabs. Will be my lawyer. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Uh, I'm just fucking with you, but yeah, we, we watched 2.0 in our film school a long time ago because I really wanted to do Bollywood films. Um, for those of you who are kind of newer to the stream... Um, Film school used to be a, a huge part of what we did here. And I made a, a, a consorted effort to make sure that we were always watching a different type of film from a different region of the world. So we've watched Bollywood. We've watched, we watched a Nigerian film one time. We watched uh, South American film, Canadian film, French film, German film, you name it, we watched it. Um, Nollywood, there you go, yeah. Uh, Will, you do Italian classic films. I would love, 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 love to watch Italian films. I'd love to watch old Argento films. Um, but uh, I don't know legally where they are. And they are all just fucking festooned with tits. I love Dario Argento, but I don't, I don't think I could show one of his films 
without getting clapped, right? When, when a nipple is like dropping a nuke on your stream, Dario Argento is full tilt, scorched earth, nuclear winter type shit with how much nudity there are in his projects. Um, now that you have a larger audience, do you think you'll rewatch any of the films you did before? Do you think we'll just keep going with new films? There's such a wide sea of films. Yeah, for the most part, I think we'll just keep going with new film um, for, for a while. There are some films I'd love to revisit. I'd love to watch Fallen Angels again because it's just such a joy of mine. Um, but, uh, you know, it depends. Um, da -da -da. I got some Mendocino Farms and I am so hungry. Um, <laughs> thanks for the sub, homie. Hey, no worries, brother. Have you watched the last duel? Yeah, I watched the last duel. I was I was um, pleasantly surprised with how good the last duel was. Um, it's one of those films I don't think I'd recommend to people, uh, just because it's so brutal. God um, damn, I love the stash. Thank you so much. It's such a brutal film, and it could be triggering or. Just uncomfortable for, I would say, most women uh, to watch. Um, unless you're really in the mood to just watch something dark and terrible and fucking Five months brutal. Months but thank you for the stash support. Uh, PT Parkour, thank you so much. Five months, I appreciate you. Oh, sorry, P-tier. P-tier. Can you give a review recap of your thoughts on uh, the new season of Survivor? Moments, votes out, etc.? Um, yeah, I mean, the new season has been fucking crazy. It, it started fucking crazy. It's been fucking crazy. Um, I'm looking real forward to see kind of who the standouts are. Um, I think the, uh, the one Korean guy, it really has the legs to go far, but I'm looking forward to kind of see how it plays out. Um... Donkey Film Recommendations. Uh, do you mean do film wrecks in the style of donkey? Like, hey, this guy, I love it. Very nice, Dash. Thank you. Um, oh my God, same to whoever said they can't take Matt Damon seriously. Oh, yeah, well, Especially that GD cool. crypto commercial. Yeah. <laughs> Sip your coffee. Thank you for the tier one. Uh, Donkey's film recommendations. Oh, he made a, a hundred film recommendations. Did this just come out? Is this new? January 15th. Oh, this is brand new. All right, let's take a look. It's his film recommendations. Oh, he just literally... Okay, that Seven Samurai. I think this is... Okay, this is Akira Kurosawa's Seven Samurai. This is Modern Times with Charlie Chaplin. This is Citizen Kane. Let's see if I can get him. This is Yojimbo. Oh, fuck. What is this? I don't know this one. I'm going to try and go through and get as many as I can. This is Raging Bull. This is Clerks. Ah, fuck. I don't know what that is. This is Dr. Strangelove and How I Learned to Love the Atomic Bomb. This is Psycho. Oh, that's a, that's a tough one. Is that Casablanca? I can't tell. Um... I can't tell what this one is. I'm striking out. This is Lawrence of Arabia, Star Wars, Midnight Cowboy, RoboCop, It Follows, Die Hard. Guys, I'm killing this. I'm killing this. Fuck. Is this Man on Fire? That might be Man on Fire. Uh, this is The Thing. That's uh, Wally, I think. This is La La Land. Uh, Jurassic Park. Oh, fuck. That's some, that's Pocahontas, I think. Up. Monsters, Inc. What the fuck is that? This is The Exorcist. Eyes Wide Shut. Um, fuck. What is this? Oh, I think that's Great Gatsby. I don't know. This is, um, Inception. Okay, guys, let's see. Keep it going, Will. Uh, Punia. Uh, that's Porco Rosso. 
What is this? It's just a crank. Why is it just a crank? Is that bridge over the river Kwai? That might be bridge over the river Kwai. I don't know what the fuck that is. Is that Harry Potter? This looks like Harry Potter. Oh, this is almost famous. Oh, I don't know. This rear window, maybe? I don't know. Fuck! Some of these are tough. Oh, I'm striking out now. This is Raiders of the Lost Ark. Alice in Wonderland. Lilo and Stitch. Uh, Little Mermaid. Oh, what the fuck are you? Oh, this is... Oh, fuck, I don't know what this is. I think this one is Inglorious Bastards. I don't know what this one is. I don't know what that is. Uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Oh, the whoa. Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, Toy Story. I don't know what that is. That's Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is Fury Road. Uh, this is Stalker. What the fuck? God damn it. I don't know what that is. Fuck. Uh, oh shit. This is Night of the Living Dead, I think. This is Hot Fuzz. Uh, that's gotta be a Wes Anderson film. I can't place it though. This is Ratatouille. Uh, Lord of the Rings. Fucking, that's the Green Goblin from Spider-Man. This right here is Blade Runner, baby. Ah! Oh, that's the Sharing Gun? No, I don't know what this is. Fuck. Uh, this is Zodiac. This is Seven Deadly Sins. Guys, I'm doing it. This is um, Parasite. Uh, fuck. Oh, that's the Social Network. My uh, my neighbor Totoro, uh, Jackie Brown. Come on, William. This one's Apocalypse Now. Come on, William. Whiplash. Yes. I don't fucking know what this one is. God damn it. Uh, this one looks like Spirited, but I don't think it is. This is uh, Little Miss Sunshine. This is Nightcrawler. This is a fuck. I don't know what this one is either. This one's The Shining. Uh, Truman Show. Fuck you. Oh, Pinocchio? The Big Lebowski! Um, Napoleon Dynamite. This one is uh, Howl's, I believe. Howl's movie. Or no, this one's Spirited Away. Sorry. That's Spirited Away. Aladdin. E.T. No Nightmare Before Christmas. This one's Goodfellas. Uh, Beauty and the Beast, Finding Nemo, um, Pulp Fiction, uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey, okay. I don't think I did too bad on that. I don't think I did too bad on that. I'm not going to lie. I think I, I think I, what did I probably hit? Like at least 60 of them. Hang on, I'll be right back. I got to go grab my food. Hell yeah. Shira! Thank you. I'll be right back, guys. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's very cool. Love the mustache. Holy shit. Oh yeah, wow, that's very cool. All right, let me say this. Let me say this. Right off the bat, Donkey's got fucking great taste in movies. My man has got great taste in film. Dunkey is one of those guys who, like, he clowns around a lot, but he's actually freaky brilliant. 
Like Dunkey is actually a freak. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant dude. Like, I would love to just sit down and pick his brain. He's got incredible taste. Um, did anybody go through, through and see how many of those I actually got? Uh, I think I probably hit at least 60 of them. Um, anywho, ooh, I got an elote bowl from Mendo with that couscous. Man, that couscous. The dude, so the food's so nice, they had to name it twice. Um, okay, so, um, quick things I'm catching you up with. I filmed something with Austin. You guys will see it soon. It was incredible. That's all I'm going to say. And the other thing, oh, that's for telling all eight, thank you so much. Thank you, Shira, for the raid. And the last thing, I pulled a hamstring playing squash today, and I am, like, in the craziest pain. I am beat up. Um, what does couscous taste like? I don't, it's like a grain. It's got a really nice texture. Um, let me, oh, oh my God. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. So good and tasty. Mmm. Mmm. Ask Creed for his knee scooter. He needs it to get around, baby. Um, there's a comment on the donkey vid that has a list of all the movies. All right, well, I need someone to go through. Whoever wants to choose this task and see how many of them I got. Um, I pulled both my hamstrings doing scroll squats. Oh, my God, bro. Both? <laughs> you can't do anything if you... <laughs> you can't even sit comfortably um since you mentioned uh squash any recommendations for a new squash player um play by yourself squash is one of the few sports you can actually just play by yourself practicing rails and boasts and drops and you will get better um okay with that being said let's get into our reaction content there's 2,000 of you here in the first 20 or so odd minutes which is insane been playing Vampire Survivor after I watched you. Very great game. Unfortunately, I mixed everything, max everything in a day. Damn, you've been grinding. Um, so, hey, well, guess what? I found out on my mom is cancer free. What? Let's go, dude. That's so pog, man. That's so fucking pog. Uh, my dad had cancer twice. It's not something I really talk about. I don't think I've ever talked about this uh, on stream. Uh, my dad had cancer twice. Um, and uh, the second time he had cancer, he had some really intense treatments. And I remember he would come home like so depleted and burnt. And cancer is a bitch. It sucks. I lost an aunt, uncle to cancer. It's a terrible, debilitating uh, problem, and uh, beating it is like one of the most, it's one of the joy, most joyous moments in, in life, I have to say. There, there's something tremendous about like someone, you know, powering through that. So congratulations to your mom, and uh, make sure you guys party, you know? Make sure you fucking party. Beating cancer is like, Whatever it is, I'm sure they're not strong enough to get crazy, but whatever your version of partying is, even if it's just watching a whole season of, of a show and eating too much pizza, do that shit. You know what I mean? So, um, by the way, uh, the one, the only myth is here. Everybody give myth some love. Yes, uh, Ali, I'd be down to play some video games later. I think I'm going to start with a little reaction and eat some food. Also, I'd be down to play with you during your stream times tomorrow early if you want to get into it. And the last thing I wanted to get into guys, I've been watching the peacemaker show. It's fucking electric. The peacemaker show is so God yeah, wow. damn cool. good. Anonymous user gifted a tier one sub direct. Topic. It's silly. How good the peace dude, DC fans, DC fans. We're back, baby. 
We are back. I have had so much shit shoveled down my throat by the DC film universe. And then finally, James Gunn comes out of the back room with the steel chair and... Bro, Peacemaker and the new Batman movie, we're fucking back, baby. We're fucking back. Um, all right. With that being said, I want to eat some food. You want to watch some Survivor. Um, what? Oh, Scream 5 review? Oh, man. I did see Scream. Let's talk about it quickly. Um, I did see Scream. And I don't want to ruin it for anybody who's a Scream fan. But let me just say, um, I am a huge Scream fan. Um, gigantic, even. And Scream is one of the very first horror movies I ever watched. Um, for many people kind of in my age range, Scream is like the movie that like opened me to slashers, right? For some reason, I watched that before Texas Chainsaw Massacre, before Jason, before anything, before The Ring, I watched Scream. And I remember when I was younger, I would call my friends and be like, <laughs> what's your favorite scary movie? Because I could do the voice really well. And I would call him and I'd be like, wrong. If you hang up that phone, I'm going to gut you like a fucking fish. And I loved that shit. That shit was really fun, right? And it's just so iconic. And um, Scream, is, Scream is great. For those of you who haven't seen Scream, um, it is a film that essentially, it is a slasher that um, like disassembles slashers, right? It, it, it looks at slashers, and it kind of like systematically uh, disassembles them a a almost to a humorous end, but it's still like very scary and fun and, and pulpy and all this kind of stuff. And um, um, this is kind of uh, their, their attempt at rekindling uh, a lot of the uh, scream energy. And I thought the film was decent. I thought the open was probably the best part of the entire film. If you're a Scream fan, you'll get a kick out of what an homage this is. A um, requel, as they call it now. A requel. It's a sequel, but it's also a reboot at the same time. Um, do I like Galeo? Yeah, it's... Um, and I never say that right. Forgive me, I'm not Italian. Yes, I love Yellow Horror. Um Dario Argento is one of my favorite directors of all time. And I'm sorry if I said yellow and Italian wrong. Um, I, uh, I, uh, so anyway, I, I really enjoyed Scream for what it was. That being said, I don't think the new Scream is particularly Gilalo, Gilalo, G fuck it, yellow. I'm going to say yellow. I'm sorry. I got a fat, stupid American mouth. I can't make those syllables. Um, so Scream wasn't like offensive to me. The new Scream like wasn't offensive to me. There were parts of it that were like so contrived in my opinion uh, in that they were trying to get so many things in. They were trying to get the original cast in. They were trying to get the new cast in. They were trying to tell a lot of story and make up a lot of ground and probably set up for subsequent films. And it felt a little rushed, really. Um, like, and I feel like this is a new strategy for filmmakers when they're making requels. Uh, I saw this uh, very heavily in ho the new Halloween, Halloween 2, um, where the plan is rush so much fan service and so many Easter eggs in to a small period of time that the viewers don't notice that your story doesn't really work at all. 
<laughs> and uh, that's kind of what I felt about the new Scream. I was like, okay, they're they're kind of just blowing through some stuff so we don't focus on it. Um, but uh, it, it wasn't really there. The new Scream wasn't really there. Uh, I would give it a loving 6 out of 10. A loving 6 out of 10. I think on Rotten Tomatoes, it's sitting on at like a 7. Oh, yeah, wow. 70 something. So, um, Spooky Ghost, thank you so much. So, like, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. If you're a big Scream fan, you'll enjoy it. If you're not a big Scream fan, the majority of the film, you'll be sitting there going, what the fuck is happening? Um, so, yeah, Scream fans, go watch it. Have fun with it. Watch it high. You might like it more. Uh, are you caught up on Yellow Jackets? Yes, I am. Um, I'm still meditating on the Yellow Jackets finale. Um, here's what I'm going to say. I don't want to spoil anything. I don't want to spoil anything. But Yellow Jackets, to me, had one of the strongest openings to a series I've, I've ever seen. And it kind of leveled out for the entire series. And I feel like the finale finally set up an antagonist. Finally set up an antagonist. And it felt like, shouldn't we have done this maybe halfway through this season? I feel like maybe we should have like done this halfway through the season. And I, I hate to say this. But the show lost so much energy that I was like, I'm done with this shit. And then the finale happened and I went, all right, I'm going to watch season two because I think season two is going to be good. Now that they finally fucking have an antagonist, it took them an entire, and it just, they, there was filler. Let's call it what it was. They they made Yellow Jackets, and I feel like after the first two episodes, they decided that they wanted it to be a five-season arc, and they started putting filler into it. And I feel like the finale brought me back. There were a few things. Um, I don't want to get into any spoiler details, but let's just say um, what happened to the homecoming queen I thought was ridiculous. I was like, what the f No, that's not how that works. That's not how that occurs. You don't just, that doesn't just happen. And then the other thing though, I was like, Lottie is a great character. Lottie is a great character. I'm excited to see what happens with Lottie. Nice. Lottie is very cool. So there you go. That's my take on, on Yellow Jackets for now. I want to give people an opportunity to, to watch the show but truly, I, I'm going to be honest, oh, that's for a cooler. Yellow Jackets, it feels like the entire run of the plot for however long um, that show is going to run. It feels like that possibly could have been condensed into a season or two. But, you know, everybody wants to have a, cool a cinematic uh, universe now. So it's like they don't build for a season now. They build for like five. So there you go. Um Colsey, thank you so much for the Prime. Now, with that being said, can we get the link up for... Will, you got a P.O. box? I do, and I haven't opened it in a while. I feel very bad, but I need to. Um, can we get a link to Survivor? Please? Please? Oh my God, I'm so hungry, too. Carly, get out of here. Mod check? M mod check? Okay, I can pull it up on my own. No worries. Um, does anybody remember what episode we were on? Oh, someone got my back, baby. Survivor season 13 episode 5 don't sp 
Cry Over Spilled Octopus is the name of the episode. I am very excited. All right. When I start playing it, one's in the chat. If the volume's all right. <laughs> ship, ship, Sheree. Thank you so much for the five. <laughs> Thank you for the five. Oh, yeah, Thank you. For cool. Maper yeah. Serp for uh, the four months. I got Survivor up. One's in the... Wow, what a night. This has been quite a night, guys. 7,000 wowzers. Can't believe it. If I wasn't in so much pain, I would do one more, but I, I'm not going to lie to you. I need to go ice my glute. My ass hurts. If I wasn't actually in pain, I'd do one more, but I, I actually just have to go ice my glute and stretch. Um. I'm really hurting a little bit, boys and girls. Uh, otherwise, I'd be with you longer. Uh, I will be back tomorrow. I, I promise. But uh, my butt hurts. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. That's for a cool uh, I would gifted a tier one sub to Jard 17. I would stream longer, but um, my butt hurts. Uh, so I am going to uh, tap out here. But I just want to say thank you for all of the juice, the love, the affection, everything you do. We've reached new heights tonight. Um, I, I feel pretty good about it. I really do. Um, and I have all you to thank for that. So thanks for everything you do. Um, you're dope. You're rad. Uh, I, I don't know what else to say about that. I, uh, it is a massive accomplishment. It is rare air, even for the platform. And uh, went to gay bar, hurt butt. Listen, dude, purely coincidental. Purely quit. Li listen, listen, chat. Come on. Come on, chat. <laughs> dude, listen, dude. <laughs> oh, God, they're putting together the pieces. Um,. No, I, I, I sincerely, guys, uh, thank you for everything you do. Oh, yeah, wow. um, That's for a cool if this was your first time here tonight, I hope you return. Uh, it, it, it is a, a pleasure to get to entertain you. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to do more reaction. We're going to watch more of the season. We're not going to finish it, though. Uh, well, we're going to watch two or three episodes tomorrow and then probably play some video games and hang out. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Um, I will be back same bat time, same bat place tomorrow, about 7 p.m. West Coast time. Um, so thanks for everything you do. Have a wonderful evening. I'm sending you over to Plavi. Give him some love and affection and the same respect uh, that you would give me. Um, for some of you, maybe more so. Uh, but uh, one last time, sincerely, thank you. Stay dangerous. I'll see you tomorrow. To the wind, to the wind of my soul. <laughs> Bye, guys. Where I'll end up, well, I think only God really knows. I've sat upon the setting sun, but never, 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 never. I never wanted water once And I never, never, never I listen to my words But they fall far below I let my music take me Where my heart wants to go I swam upon the devil's lake But never, 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 never I'll never make the same mistake